Hi, and welcome to Mike's Garage. So I've been looking forward to doing this video for a little bit. As you can see, I've got my three new eco-worthy floor standing batteries in. And today we're going to open one of them up. Let's see what's on the inside because I've been looking at YouTube and I don't think anybody's opened up one of these things. Uh, they are pretty new. I think they just came out within the last month. But anyway, today we are going to open it up. I bought three of them. Hopefully they're good. Well, we'll see what's on the inside. So let's take a look. All right, so the first thing I want to mention is I kind of cheated on this. So there's three screws that are on the very bottom of this, and you can't get to them with a regular stubby Phillips screwdriver. It just will not fit to take these bottom ones off. And I tried three different ones. I got two of them here. I don't have the Craftsman one with me, but none of them were able to get underneath there and remove it. So uh, just a quick tip, use the offset screwdriver so this one fits in there perfect and that's how I got those first three screws out. Now I'm going to take out the screws on the side, the back, and then this top, this whole panel is going to come off. You can see what's inside. You can see that these are all welded on. See the balance leads. It's got a nice hump here, so that way if the cells, you know, kind of swell at all, um, you know, you've got that, that gap there with having the hump. So that is good. Let's kind of check all the connections here. Looking to see if there's any marks on this to show that it was torqued down. I don't see anything. So like on my Vatcher batteries, you'll see on each one like a little mark showing that they had torqued it down. Make sure everything's nice and tight. How far it is. Okay, down here you have two wires. The same screw. All right. Let's check down here. So this is how they connect the uh, the two banks together. Let's see how thick this. I, I like this cover on the outside. That's nice. I can only see the wire thickness. That would be good. Let me see if I can move this out of the way. There you go. So four six gauge wires. Okay. Here's the BMS up here. I like the heat sink on this. It's actually kind of nice. Look at that. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Okay, so it's this is all plastic here. All right, and it's got plastic standoffs. Okay, back here is your screen. Yeah, that's wired. And the wiring looks pretty good. So if they use individual wires again. Yep. Yeah. Once again, four six gauge wires, and then it looks like that there's this other wire that's coming from right here. So everything's soldered in and then just a big goop of glue. But the whole thing looks pretty solid. And this connects your two positives together, and there's your negatives there for your terminals. Good cable management. And there's this right here. Let me zoom in. Hopefully you can see that. You can see it's nice and open for the vents all the way across. I mean, it's a solid design. You can see in between each cell, it's got padding, 
between each one. Same right here. It's got this metal strap there. Is there anything else I can see? I will say that this thing does want to tip over pretty easy, so you got to be careful with it. But let me see if there's anything loose, anything abnormal, anything to be concerned about. I don't really see anything. Wire management looks good. I don't look like I can really inspect the cells. So if I could take a guess, I would probably say these are temperature sensors right here, these black ones. You got one there and then one there. Another one here. Another one here. What I wish that this had on it, which it doesn't have, um, which I could probably open this up and do, I'd like to put a disconnect. Maybe right here. I might take this cover off and then drill a hole and then put in, kind of like how my Thatchers have these. You can flip them on and off. I might put one in because I got the room to do it. And then I could probably put it there and then just run uh, the power lead output of that right onto this. That would actually work out pretty good. Yeah, that's a thought. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, build quality looks great on it. Uh, actually quite impressed with it. I mean, it's a solid unit. Uh, it has a lot of protections that are in place. Once again, I'm thinking I might put a disconnect right here. I'll have to see. Um, and then you got your uh, power button right there. All your different connections to connect it up. And then you got a nice uh, snazzy screen on the side. We'll kind of take a look at this menu real quick. So you have your pack info. Temperature. Look at your cell voltage. Status. See if there's any warnings. So here's the different protections that are in place. You have over voltage protection, under voltage protection, short circuit protection, over current protection, uh, over temperature protection. I believe this is also supposed to have um, a resistor in it. Uh, so that way you know, it saves your inverter when you uh, energize it. Uh, let's see here. Let's see what else we got. Here's your protocols. So ours 485. Let's see if there's anything else. Let's go to system. Here's the SOC on it, so it's at 29%, 280 amp hours. Here's my voltage. So that's pretty much it for the screen. Yeah, I think this is well worth picking up. I'll have to uh, do some tests on this. We do that in another video. I'm going to have to charge it up first, which with it being... Uh, as massive as it is, that's going to take a bit. But uh, get this thing charged up, and then I'll uh, do a load test on another video. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think of the build quality. I think it looks great. But what's your thoughts? And is there anything else you would like to see on this battery? Please let me know. So that's it. Thanks again for watching Mike's Garage.